Starting off tonight with Diabolical Decadent Brown Ale from Dastardly Villain Brewing in Winnipeg. I've had this one before and it's, uh, it's interesting. It's not your typical beer. And for whatever reason, they say that it pairs well with chocolate chip cookies. And they even have a recipe for them and everything on their website. Cool. But as interesting as that is, that's not what I'm doing today. Um, I got in the mail, and I mean, this isn't a mailbag day, but I got in the mail this box here, which is a Canada Post 5 kilogram flat rate box. And according to the postal clerk, uh, Joey, who sent this to me, used 4.9 kilograms of that 5 kilogram possibility. So, uh... I'm going to open it up and just see what he sent me. So I have no idea what's in here. Joey sent me a long distance picture that didn't really show anything, but he said that he is thinning his collection. So, holy shit, man, what have you done? Um, okay. Um, yeah, there's... I'm going to have to go through this in stages because there's still a bunch of stuff in the box and it's falling off my workbench. Uh, yeah, hang on. Okay, that's down to a manageable hugeness. So let's get started here. 18 by 30 centimeter uh, perf board. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen one that huge. This huge. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. We have some... Extender cables, four pin with, uh, hmm, okay. Anyway, um, so these are JST style and these are more pin header style. So those could come in handy for, I'm not sure. I'm kind of overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that he sent. And it's going to take me a while to figure out what all of the different projects are going to be. Uh, mixed blinking LEDs. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a multicolor one. Okay. So that is an assortment of blinking LEDs. I'm going to have to up my storage game. And it's already a bit of a disaster for my storage game around here. Okay, what is the next bag of LEDs? Mystery Mix. If you look closely, there are expensive jewel shapes. Okay, so more LEDs, some clears, three and five millimeters. Okay, lots more LEDs. Uh, four pin LEDs, or are those RGBs? These will fit. Oh, WS2811 style. Okay. Eight millimeter LEDs, 200 of them. What are those? I don't recognize that part number. Are those addressables or are those just straight up LEDs? Okay, it appears to be an addressable LED of some description. This uh, cheap little controller that I happen to have laying around seems to want to make it flicker and flash weirdly, but not predictably, so it may not be exactly WS2812 compatible. Something to play with. Uh, more 8mm LEDs. These are fast, slow, RGB blinking. Oh, these are 10 millimeters. Wow, okay. Uh, and these are bi-directional LEDs. Red, green, <laughs> they blow up very easily, he says. Okay. So that's the first batch of stuff. Let's grab some more things out of the box. There's the next bunch that should uh, we got here. We got some 5 by 7 red and green. Oh, square LEDs. You see those? Those are, those are cool. And in the last mailbag, I was saying that uh, square and rectangular LEDs are hard to find. Wow, okay. Mix things and some NeoPixels. Okay. I'm just going to open this one up and see what the mixedness is. Ah, some of these test clips. Those are handy. I was actually using some of them in the previous uh, test. Ah, and that is a 
filament uh, splicer joiner thing. If you remember where these two guys uh, were created, I did a video on one of these before and seems like an interesting little thing. Looks like it's got some soot on it, so he's obviously used it a bit. That's cool. And what else? He says these are some NeoPixels. Oh, there's a few different ones. Okay. So these ones are your standard 5050 LED package, which is their typical NeoPixel that you see. And the rest of these are various different sizes. I didn't know you could get it, uh, addressable LEDs in all these different packages. Wow. Uh, right down to, what the hell size are those? Those are smaller than 201 surface mount. Dude, you're killing me here. Surface mount is one of my weaknesses, but I guess if I'm going to make use of these things for anything practical, I'm going to have to start learning. I'm also going to have to start learning how to spin my own boards and not just hand bombing them like you did before. So this is got some slide potentiometers and I don't know what else is in there. Some flux and some flux needles. Okay. Now well, flux is something that I've had trouble with in the past, so that'll come in handy. Um, there's some desoldering wick. Is this, what is this? Yeah, a couple of bits of desoldering wick. Quarter inch jack stereo or, or balanced. And a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of kits. Uh, some LED bezels. Wow. This may take hours and hours. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through everything or not, but we'll see. A kit, another kit. What is this kit? I don't recognize these just off the top of my head. I guess I am going to be doing the kit extravaganza in December, so... Look forward to some of those to show up. And a couple of more surface mount kits. Are these just those soldering practice kits? Or do they actually do something? CD4060. A couple of ICs on there. Uh, HC138. Bunch of resistors and stuff. And a bunch of LEDs. Okay. And well, this one is something different. Oh, no. That's another one of the same kit. Okay. Um, and then a bunch of slide potentiometers. Those are always cool to have. And what is this? I think that is either a vibration sensor or a vibration motor. Not sure. And a 3.5 millimeter jack. Cool. And in the next bag, a bunch more kits. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, a little stainless steel dental tool carving probing poking kind of tool that's neat some more tools in here let's see what this is looks like a few pairs of tweezers including two iFixit branded ones oh that's neat and a couple of Hegel branded sets of tweezers as well that'll come in handy so two straight tip and two curved tip from two different brands with all the surface mount stuff that'll be really useful and then there's this bag of chips TTL and CMOS have fun, right? So miscellaneous uh, 14 and 16 pin chips and others as well. I'm not going to unbox that right now, but that is a lot that I'm going to have to sort through and figure out what to do with them. What kind of projects are in here? What do we got here? A piece of vector strip board. Cool. A teensy card. A description card. What is that? It says 10 grams to 1 kilogram. Filmsensor.com. Some kind of a force sensor maybe? There's a second one there. And then attached to this teensy data card is an Ethernet kit for a teensy 4.1. And it is, in fact, a kit. 
okay. I don't have any Teensy. That's one microcontroller that I haven't played with. Keep coming. Now, this kit says power transistors, but I'm also seeing some LEDs of various types in here. Some 3 and 5 millimeter and some of those Piranha LEDs. And some circuit boards and some chips and stuff. This is obviously... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, we have some MOSFETs, some Atmel 328s, uh, various other transistors and MOSFETs, op amps, OM741, yeah, uh, 74LS154, TTL stuff, trimmer caps, uh, breakout boards, FETs, BJTs, TL431 voltage references, okay, um, don't know what those guys, BC547 and 578, transistors I assume, that looks like a crystal or, or an oscillator or resonator in there, uh-huh, uh-huh, four pin orange piranha LEDs, three pin common cathode LED and blue, all right, I saw those, yeah, orange, uh, cat hair, right, uh, clear pink, um, five millimeter pink and some LEDs that he shortened the leads on. Okay. And even more LEDs. This looks like a kit of, yeah. Okay. A thousand pieces, five colors, all three millimeter. That's cool. Wow. Even more LEDs. Okay. I am never going to run out of LEDs, Joey. Seriously. Uh, these ones are more rectangular LEDs. These are, I think the size of the ones that I got in that last mailbag. He doesn't say what size they are, but I think that's what they are. Uh, even more mixed color, 10 millimeter solid colors. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let me just get some of this off here. So next we've got a couple of spools of 2012B 5 volt LED addressable LED strip. Uh, there are two of them. These ones say that they are IP65 waterproof. Oh yeah, they've got that coating on them. Okay. But these ones are, what is their spacing here? Uh, looks like about three millimeters between them, three or four millimeters between them. I don't want to do this the right way. Yeah, about four millimeters. Okay. Now those could be good for outdoor decorating. And it looks like what did I say on here? 16 and a half feet. So I think that's five meters, right? Sure. Times two. Wow. He was sent them by mistake. Wow. Thanks whoever sent those by mistake. Okay. What is this? It's got LEDs on wires. Six color, 20 pieces times six colors. Ultra bright, 12 volt pre-wired LEDs. Huh. Package says they're 12 volts. And yeah, they are. That's cool. Uh, only drawing 9 milliamps too, so that's a decent sized resistor in there. It's not going to cook them if you run them at 12 volts. And the last thing in this dumping, but not the last thing in the box, is this thing here with a heat sink on it. It is a micro stepper driver. Okay. So it can control between 9 and 42 volts of stepper motor. There's the two windings. Um, we've got an able, a direction, and a pulse. Okay. And then some switches for setting it up based on all this stuff. Cool. So you can limit the current and the number of pulses per revolution or micro steps. Well, that's nifty. A much more heavy duty version of the stepper motor driver that I was using for playing with stepper motors earlier. That's cool. And if I need tons of current, I know where to get it now. But wait, there's more. I think, I think we'll get things, yeah, we're at the bottom of the box now. And what do we have? We have another, what are you, 3.5 millimeter jack. Okay. We have a high performance cooling fan, if we can trust the box. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Oh, wow. That's cool. So that's a PC case fan. That is 120 millimeter fan and runs at 12 volts. Huh. Not sure whether you can hear it or not. 
but the fan on my shop PC over here is a little bit noisy, so that could come in handy just for that. And the last thing weighs a lot. Wow, I wonder what you are. It says motor, but I don't know what kind. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a... Yes, it is. Ho, ho. It is a big honking stepper motor. That will go with that driver, obviously. A 2 amp, 1.8 degree per step stepper motor. And that's got to account for at least one and a half of those kilograms in that box. Wow. Well, that was a lot. And now I'm going to have to find a new storage solution, but that's a nice problem to have. And I hope I helped Joey out with his storage problems uh, by transferring stuff to making it my storage problem. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. And thanks, of course, to Joey from uh, from the East Coast for sending this out to me. I appreciate it, buddy. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later.